Andy! Come on, big finish! Come on, hang in there, Andy! What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Dean Runner here and welcome to the beautiful village of Bourne on the Water in the Cotswolds, UK. And today, we're here for the Bourne 10K. Rainer. Rainer, R-A-Y-N-O-R. Lovely. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you. Swap to the other camera. Just heading down to the start. Um, running a little bit late this morning, but feeling good. Cannot wait to get going now. 15 minutes to the start. Oh, let's do this. Three, two, one.
Well done, mate. So there we go, race done. Massive PB, absolutely over the moon. I've been waiting for a race like this for so long. And I kind of thought to myself, I was really worried from last weekend's Hereford 10 milers to thinking to myself like, does this give any representation as to where I am? Uh, clearly it didn't, 34.11 today, which is a 20 second PB. Second time ever in the 34s and to get low 34s is just like, I'm so happy. There was a point where I thought I was gonna be on for 33 but I went out hot and I was hanging on at the end but not too bad not too bad let me go through everything first of all as I always say a massive thanks to the organizers this is a highly recommended race this is a great race I really enjoyed it it is relatively flat there is a bit of a cheeky hill it's a very slight incline out of the town it's two loops in the town and then a very cheeky incline going out, nothing major. I was absolutely fine with that. You turn a bit of a corner and then there's a little bit of a steep incline before turning around at the top and then coming back down. So there's only one relatively stinger of a hill. It's not really a hill, but it just takes the sting out of things, if that makes sense. So other than that, then you turn around and thankfully we had the wind on our back, which helped with the times <laughs> because I was blowing at that point. I felt so strong by one and two, like ridiculously strong. So let's roll through the race. A massive thanks to Borton, uh, the runners of Borton for putting on the club that put on the event. Absolutely fantastic. Great marshals out there. Great course. What a beautiful place to hold a race. This genuinely, this race comes highly recommended. I, I really want to do this again next year. So for me, uh, I ran 34.11 on the watch. I don't know what the official chip time was. I don't know what place I came, but the great thing was, is I could see the front group. I started about four or five rows back from the start. I thought it will hopefully control my start. It didn't. I ran a 5.22 first mile. Um, but from there, I went on and ran a little bit more sensibly, late 5.20s, early 5.30. So we'll go through that now. But basically we went out of the town and then as I said, up a hill, back down and back into the town, one loop of the town and back to the finish. So 522 first mile, started my way like four or fifth, five rows back, felt really comfortable, uh, went around the town twice. Uh, and then I think on the second loop, just on the way out, that clicked the mile mark, 522. So that was all right. And then 525 is the next mile. That's a very gentle, uh, just sort of incline out, but I mean, really gentle, like you barely even notice it. And at that point I was feeling ridiculously strong. I was in like the second group. So there was a lead group that went off. Then there was a couple of runners in the middle and then there was a second group and I found myself in that group. And then by the end of the second mile going to third, I found myself at the front of that second group. And then I broke away from that second group with one chap and we ran together on the second and third mile, which was gently going uphill. And that was a 5.33. So I didn't really drop pace, which is what I was worried about. Going up that short, sharp hill, I was a little bit concerned that I would drop pace at that point, but I didn't, 5.33. Um, and then from there, uh, we hit the turnaround point. We had the wind in our face at that point, turned around, came back down the hill, and then I ran a 5.30. So that, that fourth mile had that short, steep hill at the, at, the, at the front end of the mile, and then we had came back down it, had the wind behind us to hit a 5.30. Then I hit another 5.30, so you can see I was blowing a little bit by this point. I should have been a bit quicker, but I did go out a bit hard, but I was holding on right. Alpha, massive shout out to the Alpha Flies, absolutely brilliant. I would race in them again. I was a little bit worried. 10k didn't think that'd be their speciality thought the vapor flies would be all over it but i'm gonna put my hands up and say i am an alpha fly convert i flipping love those shoes they were brilliant so around a five uh 5 30 took a couple of people at that point sort of started picking a couple off and then i sat behind the chap that i finished behind and around a 5 28 sixth mile so that was again really good really happy with that and then the last point two was 5 11. So I finished in a watch time of 34.11. I'm awaiting the, the official time. But I've got to say, I am absolutely over the moon. I genuinely cannot get over how I felt today. I think I tapered down nicely, did things nice and smartly this week. I built a load up over the last couple of weeks, but I thought I want to take this one quite seriously. So backed off Thursday and Friday. I've taken it really easy, had a really busy couple of days uh, on Friday and Saturday. So I just came in here today with no pressure. And do you know what? To shift a PB that's two years old, uh, one and a half years old, I think I set it at Seven Bridge 2019. Um, 
uh, it just feels good and I just feel like this has been so long overdue. I've been waiting for this for so long. I've known it's in the tank and I haven't had the opportunity. I feel like it's redemption for Speedway when I was injured. I knew I could have gone to Speedway if I was in good shape and raced hard. I wasn't able to. I've come here today. I've laid my stall out and that makes me feel really confident that I'm going to definitely shoot for that 74 or 75 at Cardiff in three or four weeks time. Come on! Really happy with that today. What a start to the year. After that injury, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident, and I'm just going to be smart now. Easy run tomorrow, moderate run Tuesday, no workout, just ease back into it. Workout Thursday, and we start building towards Cardiff. Come on, baby, let's do this. Thank you guys so much for your support. I've uploaded to the run to Strava. I'm seeing those comments come in. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all of you who cheered out there, said hello to me, um, who we, we ran together. You're all amazing. Thank you. It's a pleasure and a privilege to do this i feel so grateful to be able to run and uh share my journey with you thank you guys and well done to all of you today i spoke to a few of you that smashed your pbs get in there what a what a what a weekend what a day for all of you that's it for today guys really appreciate your support as always if you enjoyed the video give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content as always i'll see you in the next one until then